Hello everyone, this is Prerna. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we will solve exercise 1.2 from CBSE Board and CRT Mathematics of Grade 6. So let's move. Here, this is the first question. A book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was respectively 1094, 1812, 2050 and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. Now they have asked us here to find out the total number. For this we have to add up. Okay. So let's take the first uh, ticket sold on first day is 1094, ticket sold on second day is 1812, ticket sold on third day is 2015 and on final day it is 2751. So let's add up. Uh, we got the answer the total number of tickets sold on all four days is 7707. And this is the final answer of this question. Okay. Now let's see the second question here. Shekhar is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6980 runs in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? Now he is a shaker and his wishes is to complete 10,000 runs. Okay. And already he has scored 6,980 runs. And we have to find out how many more runs he need. So for that we have to subtract. Okay. So shaker's score is 6,980. And he wishes to score 8,000. So shaker needs is equal to 10,000 minus 6,980 gives us the answer as 3,020. So the final answer of this question is to complete 10,000 runs, Shaker needs 3,020 runs. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Here this is the next question. In an election, the successful candidate registered 577,500 votes and his nearest rival secured 3,48,700 votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the election? As everyone know that if the candidate has highest votes, he is the successful candidate. Okay, now uh, the successful candidate has votes 5,77,500 votes and his nearest rival secured 3,48,700 votes. Now we have to find out by how many um, uh, votes he, he got extra to win. Okay, so for that we will subtract them. We got the answer as the successful candidate win the election by 2,28,800 votes. And this is the final answer of this question. Okay. Now let's see the next question. This is the next question. Kirti Bookstore sold books worth rupees 2,85,891 in the first week of the June and books worth of rupees 4,768 in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? In which week was the sale greater and by how much? Okay. To find out the sale together, we, we, we have to add up this. Okay. So, let's take the first week of the uh, month. He saw uh, the Kirti bookstore sold 2,85,891. Okay. And in the second week of rupees 4,768. We have to add up. Okay. Uh, so, the, the sale for the two weeks together is of rupees 6,86,659. So, this is the answer of this first question. Now, we have to find out which week was the sale greater. In which week the, was the sale greater. So, for that we have to compare these two numbers. Here, uh, in both the numbers have the same number of digits. So, we will compare the highest place. 
here this number has the highest number in his highest place so the sale for the second week was greater which is of rupees 4,768 now we have to find out by how much for that we will subtract so the second week has is of rupees 4,768 and book sold in the first week is of rupees 2,85,891 now uh, we have to subtract so we got the answer as the sale is greater in the second week by of rupees 1,14,877 and this is the answer of the second question so the final answer of this question is the sale for the two weeks together is of rupees 686659 in the second week was the sale greater and it is by of rupees 1,14,877 now let's move to the next question now here it is the next question find the difference between the greatest and the least five digit number that can be written using the digits 62743 each only once now to make greatest number as i have told in the previous video we have to write these digits in descending order so here the greatest number is 7 then comes 6 then 4 then 3 and then 2 so we made the greatest number is 76432 now to make smallest number we will write the same digits in ascending order so first will come 2 then 3 then 4 then 6 and then 7 so we made the smallest number is 23467 now they have told us to find difference so for that we will subtract So let's take seventy six thousand four hundred thirty two, and subtraction sign, and then comes twenty three thousand four hundred and sixty seven, which gives the answer as fifty two thousand nine hundred and sixty five. So the answer is the difference between the greatest and the smallest number is fifty two thousand nine hundred and sixty five. Now let's move to the next question. Here, this is the next question. A machine on an average manufactures two thousand eight hundred and twenty-five screws a day. How many screws did it produce in the month of January two thousand six? Means we have to find out how many screws it will produce in the month of January if it produces in one in a day two thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. It seems repeated addition. For repeated addition, we can multiply. Okay, so let's take a uh, given num given as a machine manufactures two thousand eight hundred twenty five screws a day, and we have thirty one days in a month of January. So let's multiply these two numbers. Two thousand eight hundred twenty five multiplied by thirty one gives us the answer as eighty seven thousand five hundred and seventy five. So the answer is the machine produces eighty seven thousand five hundred and seventy five screws in a month of January two thousand six. Okay. In uh, the remaining questions, we will solve in the next video. Okay. If you like my teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.